Hi, my name is uh, Ian Franks. I'm a safe program consultant, release train engineer, and a certified scrum professional. I've been asked to talk about the f five things I wish I'd known before my first program increment planning session. The first one is going to sound obvious, but is actually probably one of the most difficult to do, and that's the importance of getting a good night's sleep the night before. Uh, the irony is, that's the hardest time to sleep, your brain will be buzzing, the adrenaline will be flowing, but you are going to be stretched to the limit and in demand for the next 48 to 72 hours, depending on how you're doing your PI planning. So uh, make some time for yourself. Try to give yourself some time to get some rest. Um, and similarly, after the PI planning event, you're gonna sleep well. So uh, think about what you're planning to do at the end of the event and how you might want to celebrate it because you're probably gonna fall asleep by nine o'clock in the evening. So uh, that, that's certainly something that you need to take into account before you do this. And, and the final thought about that, although you're gonna be very tired and you're gonna be uh, uh, run really hard for a few days, it's also one of the most rewarding things you'll ever get the chance to do. I still look back fondly on one of the first PIs I ever did where uh, a young lady came up to me after the session and she said, thank you, I've worked here 20 years and it's the first time I've known what the other teams are working on. So do it and do it well. Another thing that uh, is important to consider is the alignment between portfolio and program. Uh, no matter how much work you think you may have done, the importance of the vision and the roadmap to make sure that your program leadership are aligned both before and during the PI planning event cannot be emphasized enough. Uh, I've learned through tough experience that uh, quite often we think we're aligned and when we get into the detail there are some challenges around prioritization. And even though you may have gone through a WSJF session and you, you, you may have come out with your, your priorities based on weighted shortest job first, you may even have taken time to do a management review and, and overlaid some of your priorities and taken account of the real world that, that may be uh, less prone to the pure economic decision, you're still going to find potentially that there are going to be some challenges and when you get into the meat of trying to work it, that's going to be a real challenge. So any effort you can spend there any time to check and recheck and get your product management team aligned is not wasted time by any means. No matter how many times you think you've uh, briefed people on the agenda and the timings, you're going to find that when it comes to the actual day, people are going to be absent and missing, late for scrum or scrums, late for different meetings, and this is even more so if you have a distributed planning event where you are not able to just walk around the room and grab people, but they need to remember that they need to dial into this session at this time. Uh, it's a real challenge. Uh, no one's doing it deliberately. Everybody's focused on what they need to be doing and wrapped up in, in, in the work. Uh, my recommendation is if you can find a way to have a, a runner, if you like, or, or somebody who's your sidekick throughout planning, who can just round people up and allow you to focus on the task at hand or, or, or go, go check, get people ready just a few minutes before those meetings, it's a real advantage. So uh, if there's somebody who can, who can be working alongside you, that, that's something I would really uh, encourage you to try and find, uh, just to have somebody to, to help you with those things. One of the other things that you'll need to consider is is, uh, no matter how much time you think you've tested any of the technology and any Skype calls or microphones in remote offices, something is going to fail you on the day. You are going to find that one of the pieces of equipment, and it'll probably be the least thing you expected, like your laptop will suddenly decide to freeze or something, uh, but you're going to get undermined. So uh, be prepared for it. Don't panic. And again, this is another opportunity where having a, a runner or a, a tech support person on hand is, is really helpful and, and almost key with a bigger event that's distributed because you're really going to need some of that help. Um, if you've got multiple locations and if you can uh, afford the investment or the support level, then, then somebody in each of those locations to, to help you cope with any technological failures uh, because you can guarantee that something, the least thing you expected, probably the thing you tested five times, is still going to be the thing that trips you up on the day. Finally, I can guarantee that the one thing you're going to get on your retrospective, and not just on your first PI, but on every PI, is going to be a comment about the food, the coffee, the lunches, the teas, the refreshments, the sweets that were or were not available, and the snacks. <laughs> this sounds like it's a really light-hearted thing, but you'll be amazed the positive impact that good snacks, ease of good coffee, uh, a variety of food and provided at lunchtime makes such a difference to the team morale and the energy levels as a result. Uh, some time given to that, don't think of it as an afterthought, don't think I'll just order the usual 25 lunches for this room or whatever, try and do something that uh, gives a bit of variety each day because you'll be amazed it does really make a big difference so uh, <laughs> that'd be my top tip. <laughs>